Hi everyone, this is Sam Paw Pony, and I'm back for the next video. But before I do, I want to just finish up something. The reason I chose to forgive the individual who caused all this drama is even though what he did was completely wrong, illegal, and a complete disgrace to our community, let alone disgusting, I want... Now, keep in mind, I'm not insulting the person. I'm insulting his actions. Because I was taught, and I'm sure some of you are going to have heard this as well, forgive the sinner, but at the same time, hold accountable in a way for their sins. You know, the whole concept of forgive the sinner, not the sin kind of idea. But I want to just touch on the reason why I forgave the individual is because, like I said, the situation's been taken care of as best as it can be right now, even if we don't know certain details. And I realized, like I said, I was saying before, the longer you hold on to unforgiveness, the more it affects you as a person. It eats you alive, it causes you to have a black heart, and it just, it's something that you can't really get rid of until you do choose to forgive. Or at least that's how it affected me when I chose not to forgive those three individuals for seven years. And I wanted to just mention that. But I also want to mention something that I also realized. And this is more of a suggestion and a statement rather than, you know... A choice. So, I mean, to me, as far as forgiveness goes, that's your decision, guys. You decide whether you want to forgive or not. But I want to just end that discussion with this quote, or rather, piece of advice. Forgiveness is a choice, but we should not forget or risk repeating the same problem again. In other words, we shouldn't forget or we risk repeating the same problem, but as far as forgiveness goes, that's your decision. Now, I wanted to touch on in this video my own last thoughts in regards to the situation. I know a lot of people have said the Brony Analysis community knew what was going on, but I can honestly say to you guys, I don't think that's the case. Because... Let me explain something. To the individual who was involved in this, keep in mind, he was very manipulative. And like I said before, he used his popularity and used the fact that he was a public figure, someone people looked up to. Unfortunately, I did the same because I was a subscriber and fan of his on YouTube. But the point is, you know, he manipulated people because he saw that they wouldn't judge him because of how popular he was and because of how big he was in the community. And, I mean, when you're someone with that kind of power and ability, it's not really a surprise that he was able to do what he did for a long time. In addition, I'm going to leave videos in the description for um, the uh, video Voice of Reason did as support that, you know, they said what they said in regards to everything I've said in my own videos. So, technically some of the information that I have discussed actually goes to Voice of Reason. So... He's the one who deserves credit, not me, even though it was information I used. And last but not least, I want to also talk about his victims. I'm sure you guys have heard this in many of the Brony Analysis community's videos, but even though I'm sure they support 
and understands that we want to support the analysis community given that they were close to the individual. In addition to, you know, them being popular, you know, members of the Brony community and, you know, people we look up to, the people we really need to look, you know, for as well as show our support are the victims of the situation because the individual affected them the most. Like the Brony Analysis community said, they're going to be fine. They all have said that. But the thing is, we really need to focus on the victims of the situation. I'm going to provide links to all their videos in the description below as well. But I also want to mention something else that surprisingly was actually told to me by one of the victims. One of the victims was actually a friend of the Brony Analysis community called Mimi Cage. And yes, her video will also be listed in the description. But the thing is, because I was concerned for her, I actually contacted her on DeviantArt and asked her a few questions, which she responded. And even though she told me this directly on DeviantArt to me only, I felt like it was worth repeating because... You guys need to understand how much focus we need to put on the victims. One of the things I asked was if she was still friends with Lightning Bliss and everyone else, and she said she was. But when she responded, she basically said this, and I sorry, I'm sorry if I misquote this. But she basically said, yes, I am still friends with Lightning Bliss, but I want others to stop bothering her. She has been through enough and, you know, that's basically what she said, was that she's friends with Lightning Bliss, but she wishes for people to stop bothering her. Keep in mind that was from one of the victims. I think the reason why is because she's seen how much attention Bliss is getting and kind of wishes that you know, she was given that kind of attention. And the thing is, even though she mentioned in her own video that she's happy now and she's getting better, I still feel like it's important that we focus on the victims. Keep in mind, they're the ones that the individual affected the most, and they're the ones who really need our support. And like I've said, in every comment I've made about the situation... To the Brony Analysis community, for everyone else who has been affected by this, big or small, and especially to the victims, you are all in my thoughts and prayers. And my heart goes out, especially to the victims, because I can't even imagine what they're going through. But please know that you guys have my support. Now, how do we move on? Well... Everyone has their own way of dealing with trauma or grief, and I'm the same. The way I'm dealing with this personally is, although I'm free and open to listening to what others say on the matter, I'm trying to move forward myself by simply continuing to do uh, the research I've been doing based on you know, what I mentioned in the videos in regards to Paw Patrol, I've been trying to keep up with the research there. But in regards to the Brony community, I've basically just been really kind of doing anything to keep my spirits up. I've been writing my film fix. Yes, I'm on film fiction. But, uh, so yeah, I've been doing that. I've been looking at MLP memes on Google Images. I've been watching funny videos and really just trying to do anything positive. And I think that's what we need to do is just try and keep positive and try and do something that helps brighten the mood and helps us to move forward from this whole situation. 
Uh, by the way, if you guys are curious at all about my name, in case you guys want to read any of my thick stories, it's, um, yeah, that's one thing you guys probably have noticed is a lot of my, um, my, um, sorry, my, uh, accounts on sites I'm on are similar. Yeah, it's a reason for that because I'm literally all those people. Like, and you probably would know this if you checked out my, uh, video when I mentioned, uh, one of the situations that I, I uh, talked about in my second video, actually, with the journal. So, yeah, just that. And, uh, I apologize, I can't find where I wrote my username for Fim Fiction. But, um, I will, uh, I'll mention it later on in a different video, if you guys are curious. But, uh, anyhow, I wanted to just leave my thoughts in regards to the situation, in regards to what's been going on. But before I end this video, there's actually something else I want to do for you guys. I want to read you guys a quote from a poem that I've heard many times and hope that it will shed some light. It's called Two Wolves. An old Cherokee is teaching his grandson about life. A fight is going on inside me, he said to the boy. It is a terrible fight, and it is between two wolves. One is evil. He is anger, envy, sorrow, regret, greed, arrogance, self-pity, guilt, resentment, inferiority, lies, false pride, superiority, and ego, he continued. The other is good. He is joy, peace, love, hope, Sincerity, humility, kindness, benevolence, empathy, generosity, truth, compassion, and faith. The same fight is going on inside you, inside every other person too. The grandson thought about it for a minute and then asked, which wolf will win? The old Cherokee simply replied, the one you feed. I hope that poem reaches out to you guys. I mean, I've heard it many times, but I felt like it was appropriate for this situation. Now, you're probably thinking because these are my thoughts in regards to the, the situation, like, you know, thoughts after everything I've said, like last minute thoughts, if you will, or final thoughts, I guess. You probably are thinking that my videos will end here. Well, actually, no, because there's something else that I realized over time that I wanted to share with you guys. I'm sure we've all heard the song, You're In My Head, like a catchy song from The Perfect Pair. And yes, it is also one of my favorites. However, I think if you look at it from the situation we're dealing with now, what if that song wasn't just a love song? What if there was a deeper meaning to it? And that's actually what I'm going to get into in my next video after this one. So yes, please continue to follow the videos in order after this one. But at the same time, even just thinking about MLP, the show in general, I also realized that there are a lot of lessons in the show that can actually be applied to this situation that I think not only can the analysis community learn, but even the community itself as well. So really kind of lessons for everyone. And that's actually going to be another video that I'm going to do. So, I'm, I mean, I'm going to leave all links for all the parts of my videos in the description below. And feel free to click the ones that you want to. But I want to just let you guys know that's what I'm going to be doing after this one. So I highly encourage you to stick around, especially for the lessons that we can learn from the show based on the situation. 
because I think you'll find it surprising but also helpful. So overall, those are my thoughts. Please continue if you wish. If not, that's fine. And have a good day. Bye.